Dave Ramsey, the popular radio show host and financial guru, recently had somebody on his radio show ask him, call him, they were a thrift savings plan participant, and they asked um, a question regarding rolling their TSP to their own IRA. This is a question that I get a lot. It's a question that are on a lot of federal employees' minds simply because there's not a lot of um, really solid information out there about it, and it's a very big step. Now I wrote an article um, talking about Dave Ramsey and the Thrift Savings Plan, a little bit different one earlier. I'll link it in the YouTube description below. Uh, but I'm going to share what he had to say and then give some of my thoughts on what um, I guess that align with Dave Ramsey's thoughts and also what I think is different. Um, but Dave Ramsey goes on to say, I'd roll it to an IRA outside of the TSP. You can do better with open market mutual funds the thrift options give you. Um, I recommend you spread your IRA and all long-term investing that you have control over the options across four types of mutual funds. Growth, aggressive growth, growth and income, and international. That's why my personal IRAs and 401ks are in. Or that's what my personal IRAs and 401ks are in. The thrift is not a bad plan, it's just that when you are in the open market, you've got more options, and more options usually mean that you can get a better rate of return if you do your research. Now, as I've said before, Dave Ramsey has some awesome ideas, he really does, um, but I never like to see blanket statements like the one he just gave to all thrift savings plan participants, suggesting that this person that he never met and um, just about every other their savings plan participant move their um, TSP to an IRA that is invested in mutual funds that are growth, aggressive growth, growth and in income and international is really not the best idea. The reason is, is because everybody has a different risk tolerance. I've talked about this before, but determining your risk tolerance is one of the first steps to determine what you should invest in, um, how much you should invest, and things of that nature. Now, due to the nature of Dave's show, he can't necessarily, I mean, that's kind of how he has to give his advice. He has to say, well, this is what I would do, um, and I understand that, but you need to understand that you shouldn't just base what you do on a radio host because, you know, if the market goes down, if you're in an aggressive growth uh, strategy, you're going to experience quite a bit of loss. Um, based on how the market does. I mean, the market fluctuates, a lot of volatility, and as does an aggressive growth strategy. Now, there's a few advantages to an IRA versus a TSP in retirement, um, but I'm only gonna go over a couple of them, but the first advantage is the one that Dave speaks on, and that is options. With the Thrift Savings Plan, you have five options. You have the C, S, I, G, and F funds, okay? Outside of that, you also have the L funds, which is a combination of the five. When you move outside of the Thrift Savings Plan into an IRA, your options basically become limitless. You can invest in all sorts of different funds, um, stocks, bonds, uh, you know, precious metals, annuities, um, insurance, products. I mean, there's, a, there's just a million and one products that you can go into depending on what your risk tolerance is and what your goals are and things of that nature. Um, but the second advantage to moving your TSP to your own IRA is you have more withdrawal options. This is something that Dave Ramsey didn't hint on, probably because he's not very aware of it. It's kind of something that you really have to work with a lot of federal employees to understand. But with the TSP, they give you two options. If you look on Thrift Savings Plan's website, tsp.gov, you'll find this, but with the TSP you have two options for withdrawals. One, once you've met the age and work requirements, the first one is you have a partial withdrawal and then you have a full withdrawal. Okay, so what that means is for your partial withdrawal, you take some money out, let's say $5,000 to repair the roof on your home or something else like that. The next time you take money out, you're going to have to take it all out. Okay, now when I say take it all out, you don't necessarily have to take it all out at once but you're gonna to have to set up an income stream or one of their various full withdrawal options, okay? So you only get one partial withdrawal and one full withdrawal. That's very limited. Now with an IRA, there are some IRAs that may limit you on your, the income that you can take. However, you can decide what you go into 
thus being able to say, okay, I want more liquidity than the thrift savings plan gives me, so I'm going to put it into something else. Now, why would Dave Ramsey give this advice? Well, Dave has taken thousands of questions over the years and given out thousands of pieces of advice. Okay, although the TSP is a very unique and complex retirement program known as the Federal Employee Retirement System, Dave's most likely dealt with quite a few federal employees asking him questions on his show. He probably n understands some of the nuances of the TSP versus an IRA and understands that IRAs can be superior depending on who you are. Now, my suggestions would be the same I give for any decision. First, just as Dave Ramsey said, do your own research. Make sure you're not looking to just one person for advice. Go to multiple sources, and especially in today's day and age, this is very easy with the internet and Google, and it's very easy to find answers that you want. Um, second, reach out to, to experts. Find experts in the area of the TSP, of investing, see what their advice is, and uh, decide for yourself, okay? Seek and you shall find. Um, but I guess a question for you guys that you can comment, does anybody watching this have experience moving their TSP to an IRA? If so, I'd love to hear your experience with it, any advice that you have for other federal employees, or any ways uh, that you would improve or change uh, that decision. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to start doing about a video a week now, um, along with articles. Visit FedRetirementPlanning.com. I do appreciate it. If you could share the video, I'm sure this could help other people.